Hey friends, so today I want to talk to you about the latest announcement from Figma. And as you probably know, I'm not really a fan of Figma, but that's a story for another video. So today let's focus on what they said. So is Figma going to be paid now? What's gonna happen? What's going on? Are they cancelling the free plan? No. Well, the thing is, on April 21st, Figma is going to modify their free starter plan. And here is what's changing. Let's start with the positive changes. First thing is that you're gonna have unlimited views and unlimited editors of your files. So that's a plus. However, you will only have the ability to have three files. That's not a lot of files, not a lot of files. Drafts are not gonna be limited, of course, but that file change is actually pretty big because previously you were able to have unlimited files and now it's just gonna be three. Another change is going from unlimited pages in a file to also just three pages in one file. So three files with three pages each. And if you've been working on very complex projects, you probably know that they usually have more than three pages because you need a lot of pages to actually organize different viewports, different breakpoints, different device types or different scenarios even. And of course you can still move a lot of that stuff onto those three pages, just create three pages and just move everything to them. But that will make those pages pretty big in many cases and that's gonna limit the way that you work because it's gonna be a little bit slower. And the final change, the icing on the cake, is about going from three projects to just one project. What can be good is that they are promising that most of these changes will only affect files created after those changes take place. So all your previous files should be fine and should work just as they used to. Okay, but what does it all mean? We need to start by understanding the simple truth that nothing is really free. So if something is free, it's just a plot to grab as much market share as possible and then start charging people for it because that's how it works. That's how Adobe XD started with having a free version of the software for pretty long. And right now the full version actually costs from like 12 euros and up. And the reasons for these very long free periods are that people get used to the tool, people start using it a lot, people create multiple projects and collaborate with a lot of other people, and that builds up a lot of stuff. And when the tools suddenly become paid, you have two choices. You can just continue using the tool and start paying, or you can try to move all that stuff to some other tool. But there is no easy way to do that in most cases. And even if you do, there's gonna be some losses and it's gonna take a lot of time. So this is kind of like a sneaky tactic of kind of luring the users with a long free plan and then starting to just charge them because that's, well, that's business, right? Figma is a business, it's a company, so they need to make money. And last year they got another $50 million from their investors, which means that this company right now has the money to operate. And they even admitted back then that the company is still not profitable, which means that Figma is not really making any profit right now. So not having any profit means that currently they're using the investors money to build out new features to run the servers and everything. And all of these collaborative features and all of that cloud storage actually is using a lot of resources. So it's actually a lot of money burning. And it's not gonna continue that way because that would just drive this business to the ground. So if the investors stopped the funding, Figma would just die. It would cease to exist because they wouldn't have the money to actually continue running it. Of course, the money would just run out after some time, but there just isn't enough paying users to make it work in its current state. And of course, those nice investor people don't really want to put in their money in a design tool to help designers. They don't care about your free tool. They care about making money and they want your money. So this whole plot of giving Figma money to run and get people addicted to it is to start charging them and everything is probably gonna be paid at some point. So this initial change is likely a start of a series of changes, like little tweaks to the starter plan. So it's gonna be a way for you to actually experience Figma, but you'll be able to do less and less and less for the same free price. So generally, if you plan to work professionally, you'll have to start paying because eventually it's just gonna be limited to that. And the free plan is like a trial version. So it's like you can try it out, play around with it, make maybe a small portfolio project, but it's not gonna be enough to actually work full time. And I'm not saying that it's bad. I mean, a business needs to make money. That's the point. That's the point of starting a company, building a startup, building a platform. 
but I think that a lot of the designers are actually thinking that Figma is going to be free forever. So I'm sorry to tell you, but we actually seen this happen to Adobe XD and this is the same path that Figma is going to take because they can't run the company on happy free users alone. So remember this, this one simple thing. If something is free right now, it means that their plan is to lure you to use it more and more, get addicted to it, get used to it, get dependent on it, and then they'll start charging you. That's the whole plan. So what do you think about these changes? Are you gonna continue using Figma? Are you gonna start paying? Or what's your goal? Let me know in the comments. And as usual, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, eat a sandwich, have a great week. Cheers.